I was hired at KHOU for a very simple reason. They had hired a woman before me. It was the first time they had ever hired a woman. Again, timing. And that woman had done so well that she had moved on to a bigger job in Philadelphia. And they thought, well, gee, that kind of worked. Let's try hiring another woman. And then the news director <laughs> saw this letter that I had written, as everyone in the business did. And he said, well, I like the way this woman writes. And uh, everybody, apparently, I didn't know this till later, said to him, but what does she look like? And he said, well, I don't know, but I think, you know, I want to hire her. So he hired me, and I went to work, and I replaced Jessica Savage, uh, who had just left KHOU. And Jessica had been a huge hit in Houston, and it was the, this was 1973, and Jessica had been there, oh, several years, and she would wear on the air, not always, but sometimes she would wear hot pants. I wasn't going to wear hot pants. I was coming out of the commie and I was wearing blue jeans with fringe around the bottom, you know, long hair. I would go to interview the mayor or the, the chief of police and he would say, where's Jessica? Where's that cute little thing and who are you? This is not good for a girl's confidence when she's starting out. Uh, but I managed to overcome that and I, uh, I loved it. I, I loved the news business. I didn't love being on camera. I never did. I never have. Uh, but I loved going out and getting the stories and writing the stories. But I, what I particularly loved was the edit room. I loved the fact that you could tell stories with pictures as well as just words.